In the middle of the 1800s, there was a very famous magician in France called Robert Rodin, from whom Houdini took his name, and he had started life as an horologist, a clockmaker, and he designed some wonderful magical clocks, and also automaton clocks. This is one of his designs, and as you can see, it's in the typical French, very ornate style. I asked the clockmaker whether I should clean the face, and he said, never, never. That's what the, the real collectors want to see. The base itself, very ornate, of course, but it is the little man, the Turk, that stands on the top that does all the work, really. Uh, when he's operating the magic, he nods his head on the hour, every hour, and he does the world's oldest recorded magic trick, a trick with the cups and the bowls. The little red ball is on the left of the screen, as you can see it now, and he covers them up. <laughs> there have been many ribald suggestions as to what he's lifting that middle cup with, but the red ball was in the middle just a second ago, and now he nods his head again, and then lifts the cup up to reveal that the red ball has travelled from the left to the middle and now to the right. And this happens, as I say, every hour on the hour. It's worthwhile looking up Robert Rodin on the internet and reading his amazing life story. Then, of course, all the balls disappear, and when they have gone, that's the end of the sequence, having gathered in the middle. It's quite an amazing clock, and uh, one of the best in my collection, I think. So that's the man, Jean Eugène Robert Rodin, the man who stopped the Franco-Algerian War just by magic, but also left us this legacy of amazing clocks. Just so you can get the spelling correct, I'll put, the, um, I'll put his name, his little poster, back up again on the screen now.